The full crew was having fun en route to the famous Granans Beach, including soca artist Lil Bits and Ronnie McIntyre. <laughs> Life in the Caribbean moves at its own pace. It's a different kind of vibe that you can only experience here. I felt the Grenadian love and hospitality immediately. I met Talpuri, a Grenadian icon who gave us his Jab Jab style of soca. With cutlass in hand, he offered to cook Grenada's national dish right here on the beach. Grenada is the land of spice and oil dung. <laughs> like a man on a mission, Talpri began chopping wood and setting up a bonfire to start bubbling Grenada's world famous oil dung. Breadfruit is the heart of a good Grenadian oil dung. But according to Talpri, there are a combination of other key ingredients that make this special dish. From a real Grenadian oil dung, you would get about three or four different types of meats all the time. So if it's seafood, you may still get about four different seafood. If it's regular Grenadian oil dung, you definitely will get pigtail. You will get chicken back, which is best suited. Mm -hmm. You get a little um, smoker in, a little salt fish with that. So you get a mixture of different meats. Yeah, man. In different, a, in different a oil dung, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 and yeah. cook on the, the coconut milk. Yeah. Coconut milk. If you boil it and you bring it down to a boil, you get oil from it. So that's where you're getting in oil. oil Talpuri carefully layered breadfruit, green figs, with an assortment of chicken back, pigtail, smoked herring, and salt fish. And Ronnie McIntosh was on spot to ensure Talpuri was on top of his game. Ask a question, right? Ronnie McIntosh, you know. Ask a question, right? Yeah. Right. Right. Jab Jab cooking salt fish. What is it? Soak it. Soak it. Soak it properly. One more key ingredient, according to the Jab Jab man, is coconut. Coconut dung to a boil give you oil. And it doesn't matter. That's right. Oil dung. And it doesn't matter. Coconut dung to a boil. Right. A little saffron powder is added for color. Then, it's topped with some carrots, kalu bush, fresh peppers, and green seasonings with some dumplings if you please covered with some fig leaves and just allowed to bubble to lip licking perfection after about 45 minutes or so Talpuri takes a taste he seems satisfied and is ready to plate up for some hungry onlookers that's Grenada goodness on a plate it's one of the most popular dishes around the Caribbean, but it's done so right in Grenada. So many complex ingredients and flavors all coming together in harmony in one pot. Big respect and love to man like Talpuri. The truth is, I could have spent the rest of the day listening to the waves crash on Granans Beach, but my cruise ship awaits in the distance so it was time to hit the road as my culinary adventure continues.